as the Emperor's spies told him, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Burn the pies in winter, we might at least warm ourselves. They're no use to us now. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Carradin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name, too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Salise? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her.
I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. It remains to be seen. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. My friend needs to talk to you. That's... take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day, with a clean slate. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. 
It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off. Leave him. Let's go. You off your fucking nut? Lambert, this is one of those situations when you have to realize you're pissed as hell. Rein it in, then trust your cool-headed friend. Let's go. For fuck's sake, Geralt. Don't know that I'll be able to forgive you. I said let's go. You can always come back. Thank you. Explain yourself. Don't intend to. Just felt Keratin didn't deserve to be murdered in cold blood. If you feel otherwise, you can always go back. Without me. I feel like beating the shit out of you. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. Oh, would you? Eternal fire, have mercy. 